Why play Renata's support? Well, she has amazing engage and disengage. She has great synergy with hyper carries. She has access to free and easy poke and trades. And her abilities are incredibly impactful in team fights. However, she can get bullied out of lane by high range supports. And she is very squishy, especially if she gets CC'd. Renata's passive makes her basic attacks mark her enemies and deal additional maximum health damage. The mark lasts for 6 seconds, and if she attacks the same target again, it refreshes the duration. However, if she attacks a different target, the old mark is lost and a new one is applied to her new target. Her allies can then damage the target to consume the mark, dealing the max health damage again. Renata's Q is a straight line skill shot which roots and damages the first enemy hit. It can then be recast after an enemy has been grabbed to pull them in a direction dealing damage to enemies they're thrown into, and if two champions are thrown together they're both stunned. Renata's W is truly unique. This ability can target herself or an ally champion granting them bonus attack speed and movement speed towards enemies. This ability lasts for 5 seconds and it refreshes when scoring a takedown. If the target affected with W dies they instead return to full life which decays quickly over 3 seconds. When they reach zero life again they die, however if they get a takedown during this time they come back to life. Renata Renata's E is a straight line skill shot which detonates as a circle at the end. This ability damages and slows enemies hit and allies hit by this ability gain a shield instead. Renata's ultimate is a long range wide skill shot. It has a small charge up time before sending out a wave attack which causes enemies to become berserk. Berserk enemies gain 100% additional attack speed and it forces them to attack the nearest unit prioritizing their own allies. So if this is used over multiple enemy team members they will start attacking each other. For combos you want to start with Q before throwing them into an ally and then following up with E and auto attacks. If you have ultimate available you can land Q and then slam them into an ally before immediately following up with ultimate. After using your ults, use E into more auto attacks. For matchups, Renata does very well into champions who want to engage. However, she can struggle against long range champions who can poke her out of lane. For runes, take this, it keeps you and your carry even safer. For build order, start spell thief and pot into battle song, tier 2 boots and a putrefier. After this, a redemption, staff of flowing water and ardent sensor are all great pickups depending on what your team needs and all of these are viable items too. For skill order, start E then Q then W before maxing E then W then Q taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and ignite. Starting the lane phase you can play aggressive from an early stage with how good your E is. By starting any trade with E you'll be dealing damage as well as denying the return damage with your shield. If you're able to land your auto attack as well your passive gives you a chunk of additional damage and if your carry can proc it it's even more damage again. In addition when you have Q you now have access to amazing engage and disengage. Firstly if you're able to land Q and then slam them into another target you'll deal a great chunk of damage, guarantee your E and give you an amazing trade. However if your opponents are trying to engage on you as you can use your Q while walking away it provides amazing disengage. This ability allows you to choose the fights you want to take ensuring you only take good ones. At level 6 your ultimate is amazing when used as part of your combo or for disengage. If you're able to land your Q your ultimate becomes very easy to land giving you amazing kill threat. Otherwise if they're engaging on you it makes it incredibly easy to land giving you an easy fight. Entering the mid game take your tower as soon as possible then get to the mid lane with your carry. This puts you both in a great position to siege, get map pressure and roam to objectives. Entering late game team fights you want to play the backline support enabling your carry. Wait for your team or their team to engage then follow up with your ultimate. Using this well can win the fight immediately. Otherwise use your Q to get picks or protect your carry. Making sure to also protect them with your W buff and shield them with your E.